from the AV node, the impulse will be delayed and after the delay, the impulse will be passed down to the specialized conduction system. This is the right and left branch, left fascicles. So this is a very fast track, it's like a highway. So the impulse, instead of traveling through the myocardium, it will pass through all these fibers and the conduction is super fast. That's why when we look at the normal ECG, we can see the P wave, which reflects the conduction in the atrium. And then we have the PR interval, which shows the delay in the AV node. And this will be followed by the QRS complex. So if you look at a normal ECG, we can see that the QRS complex is very narrow. This is because the time taken for the impulse to travel throughout the myocardium in the ventricle is very short because it is very special. Even though the atrium is smaller compared to the ventricle, but the time taken to travel throughout the atrium is longer because it travels through the myocardium. Because of this specialized conduction system, the QRS complex, which reflect the electrical activity of the ventricle, is very narrow. However, in certain situations, the QRS complex can be broadened. Okay, one of the situations in which broad QRS complex can occur is that when there is bundle branch block, meaning that this specialized conduction pathway, the fascicles can have a block, maybe here. So let's say we have a block here, because maybe because of uh, acute myocardial infarction, or maybe because of ischemia, so the fiber there cannot function normally. So the impulse cannot travel through this pathway anymore. However, we know that the cardiac muscles can conduct electrical impulses, so the electrical impulses from this side can actually travel to the other side, like this. Because the impulse is slowed, because it travels through the myocardium, so now we're going to see an ECG strip like this. So we can see the P wave, and then we can see the PR interval, and then we can see the first reflection, like the normal QRS. However, because these impulses are traveled slower, so we can see there's another peak, second peak, and that will go down. So this is what we call the rabbit ear. So we can see the R wave and also the R prime. So this happened in bundle branch block. So how to know which bundle branch block it is, whether it is left bundle branch block or it is a right bundle branch block. So we see the M-shaped pattern. If the M-shaped patterns are seen on the right-sided uh, lead, like V1 and V2, so this is a right bundle branch block. If the M pattern is seen on the left lead, which are the V5 and V6, so this is the left bundle branch block. There's a mnemonic for this, which is Merrow and William. So last time we are so crazy about Prince William, so Merrow and William. So this is lead V1, this is lead V6. So if we, if we see M pattern in V1 and W pattern in V6, so it is right bundle branch block. If we see W pattern in V1 and M pattern in V6, then it is left bundle branch block. 